Hey guys, today we're gonna be making a Twitter button that's gonna allow us to tweet any message we want. And we're gonna have a text area here and a tweet button. So for example, if we wrote hello world here and we click tweet, it's gonna go to our Twitter and it's gonna add a tweet here. So we can just click on tweet and that's gonna tweet our message. And we're gonna be using HTML and React for this. So if you only knew what message you want, like hello world, I'll show you the way of HTML only and we are going to be adding React to keep the state of this text area so we can add any text. So going here, the first thing we want to add is a href here. And this is just going to say tweet. So this would be an HTML way if you only wanted to add a message you know the context of. So you would do HTTPS Twitter dot com slash intent slash tweet question mark text equals and then here you would add uh, any text you want so for example we can say welcome and then after that you want to add target equals underscore blank so that's going to open it in a new window and that would be all you need to to tweet so if you want to have a generic message that you always want to type here you only need HTML for that. Then if we click tweet, that's gonna go to our Twitter with a welcome message. But then I wanted to add it with React, so you can use JavaScript as well. So I'm gonna be adding a text area, as you guys can see here, where we can type our own message each time and click tweet, and that's gonna grab our message. So the first thing we wanna have here is a div class name of container. So container here. And I'm gonna wrap my a tag with that. And then before the anchor tag, we also wanna have a text area. Which is gonna keep whatever we type here. And we can import use state from React. So we're gonna have a single state for this text area here. So we're gonna do const we're going to call it search and set search and that's going to be equal to use state and we're going to set it to an empty string here and then for our text area we want to add a value that's going to be that state we made which is search we're also going to add on change event uh, we're going to pass e and we're going to set search to e .target value here so this is going to be whatever we type inside our text area. Then we also want to add a placeholder, which is going to be what's happening. And the last thing we want to add is auto focus here. So once the page loads, this text area is going to get focused, as you can see. And then for our a trap here, instead of adding this, we want to add curly braces and then template literals here. Also at the end, and then it with curly braces. So that should be target equals blank should be outside of that. Something like this. And then instead of hard coding the text to welcome, we're going to do our state here which is search so whatever we type inside our text area and we're missing here so whenever we have target blank inside our anchor link in react we need to add rel equals no opener no refer that's gonna remove that message and this is gonna be uh, all the things we need here. I also wanna add a class so we can target it in CSS or class name of tweets. So now if we write something, let's say 222, we click tweet. That's gonna go there with tweet. So I see one issue here, so we wanna remove this. It should only be template uh, literals. So let's try again. There we go. And then the last thing we want to add is just the styles. If you guys want to follow along, we're going to be adding styles to make it look like this. 
And we're not gonna have a lot of styles here. So firstly we wanna remove one of the box sizing for everything of border box, remove margin and padding. And we wanna add a form family of sun serif. Then we wanna make our app 100% in both width and height. And we're also gonna add a background. So let's see, 374, D63. And we also wanna add display flex, which we're gonna use to center this container on the page. So the next thing we have is that container. We can add a margin order here to center it. Also, let's make some space so you guys can see it. Then under that, we wanna make it 600 pixels in width. We're gonna add a background. Bought the radius of so 12 pixels. We're gonna add overflow of hidden. We're gonna display flex and flex direction column. And this is gonna be so we can easily center our tweet. So if we target our tweet or our anchor tag here, we made it in a column here, so this didn't change anything in layout, but now we can do align items here or align self flex end. So we can push it to the right. Then we're gonna do text decoration none. Display inline block. We're gonna add it a color of white and we also want to add some background that's gonna be light blue. We can also have some padding, so 9 pixels top and bottom, 18 pixels left and right. We're gonna add some border radius of 50 pixels, margin 16 pixels to each side, and we're gonna have some transition. That all 400 milliseconds is in out, and this should be transition here. So we're adding transition because we're gonna have a hover effect. So we're gonna add tweet on hover, and we're gonna change the background to something a bit more darker. So now if we cover the tweet, you can see that slight transition. And then after container here, the last thing we want to target is going to be our text area. So we can target our text area here. We want to add some padding, 30 pixels on each side. We're going to add a background that's going to be the same as this one right here for our container. So we can just copy that here. Wanna make it full width, so width 100%, height 200 pixels, and we also wanna remove the border, so border none and outline none, like that. And we also wanna remove the resize, which is this thing, so we're not gonna be able to resize, so we can do a resize none, color white, and font size of 16 pixels. And then here, the last thing we want to target is text area and then placeholder, which is just going to have a different color, some type of gray. So now if we reload the page, this is what we have. And let's start typing, coding is fun. And then if we click tweet, it's going to go to our Twitter and then we can tweet that message. And this is what we get. So that would be it for this one guys. Thank you so much for watching and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace out.